What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're talking about iOS 18.2 that is out to iPhone 15 Pro model devices that includes the Pro and Pro Max, iPhone 16, 16 Pro models that includes the 16, 16 Plus, 16 Pro, 16 Pro Max. Um, it came in at just over seven gigs for this phone. But the reason why I'm taking forever to make this video is because my iPhone over here did not want to behave and it kept giving me an error on wanting to download this update. We have iOS 18.2 installed on this phone. Let's go through this um, setup screen now. Continue. Continue. So it's going to ask you about that iPhone analytics because there are new Apple intelligent features. Continue. Welcome to iPhone. And then it gives you the welcome to iPhone and then all you have to do is just swipe up. My blind and visually impaired audience, the swipe home to get started does not work. So turn off voiceover, then swipe home and it should work if you come across that issue. The first thing that is new here, extend Apple intelligence and Siri, chat GPT. Chat we can set it up. Set up. So when iPhone works with ChatGPT, it can do more for you. So more in depth um, with Siri, documents, and other items. Create text from a description for more writing tools and more features. So you, you can go through and do the paid ChatGPT, which will use the most powerful model. Um, or it'll use the powerful model until the time limit of tokens and then defaults back to the free thing. So basically, the ChatGPT app is basically now built into Siri and your iPhone on 15 Pro and later. And then you have the ChatGPT terms of use, next, privacy and ChatGPT. So if you don't log into your account that you have with ChatGPT or OpenAI in this in this case, um, it won't train the model. So it's like unmarked data with a user account. So in settings under Apple Intelligence and Siri, you can turn off the ChatGPT if you don't want it no more. And then you can click on the About ChatGPT and Apple Intelligence integration right here, which will give you a link to Apple support documents, which probably should be available during the beta cycles. But if not, it will be available when the public release. Enable ChatGPT. Enable ChatGPT. All right, there you go. Yo, do you see that? Playgrounds is now out. Let's open it and find out what's what's new in here. Here we are. Genmoji, image one. So I can request early access, early which access we'll do request. right now. We'll fill this out. Are we seriously gonna have this problem? So you may have an accessibility issue with voiceover in, in the first beta, but um, it should work. I'm gonna request access and probably won't be able to do it in this video, but I'll do it during the weekend follow-up. Hey, subscribe to the channel to keep updated with the latest stuff. I'm gonna start releasing videos on the weekend. Then as you can see here, it says early access requested. You'll be notified when it's available. You'll be notified when Image Playground is available. So send out a push notification letting you know when it's available. As long as I'm not busy, I'll be able to make videos. I'll try my best guys. Do, do done. Playground. And see, it'll just close out the app and then you'll just have to wait till it all downloads and you're able to join should take only 10 to 30 minutes maybe an hour max but um yeah so i'm gonna mess with this update that's basically what's new some more apple intelligent features including the chat gpt support gen moji um the apple image playground ai thing and a few other little things including like like i said the the gen moji with the ai generational moji and stuff like that so that's basically that's right. it for this update, there's not much else. I'm going to mess with it, and then I'll let y'all know some more features this weekend. Also, another thing I want to point out, um, I didn't dive in, but I'll mess with it. You can now, instead of using default mail app, default messages app, and um, a few other default apps on the iPhone, you can now do that where you can use WhatsApp for your messages or Facebook Messenger, or you can use a Gmail app instead of the Apple Mail app. And of course the Safari, you could change the Chrome and stuff like that. All the apps, the first party apps of messaging services and stuff like that, that we were not, apparently we were only supposed to get in the EU, did come to the United States. So I'm gonna play around with that too and show you all this weekend, show you the settings and everything. Um, but I'm gonna dig around in this update and I'll have a thorough update this weekend. Of course, stay tuned for Monday when 18.1 is out to the public. And we'll have all of them updates covered and stuff like that. This is Austin. Thank you all so much for watching. I greatly appreciate the views. And if you like this content, let me know what you think down below. If you're new to the channel, because we got a new, a good amount of new subscribers. Um, I cover Apple updates with a little twist of accessibility because I'm visually impaired myself. 
Um, I will do a live stream hopefully sometime soon where I'll mess around with the Apple stuff towards the end of this week. No guarantees. But if not, there'll be a video hopefully this weekend. And I'll see y'all this weekend. If not, definitely next week with 18.1 releasing to the public. Anyways, I'll see y'all later. Peace.